Come on in here, boy. There. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Let's let him go. Chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Well, good evening, folks. First fish of the day. I broke the ice, finally. Today, well, it's overcast. It's going to rain. Perfect conditions for a spinnerbait. That's a 3 8 ounce, excuse me, uh, War Eagle spinnerbait. And I have a trailer on it. That's a Zoom tra twin tail trailer. I'm using 30 pound test line braid, a boy ducket rod. This is a 7 foot medium action rod with a cadence reel. And we're going to fan cast some of this grass and see if we can come up with a spinnerbait fish. Uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit later. If it does, oh well. Perfect spinnerbait conditions. Now what I've done right there is I'm just making cast towards the grass and bringing it back. That's it. <laughs> I'm not going to have to do anything else but that because I'm nicking, I'm ticking the top of the grass right here. Now, I'm in about six foot of water right now, but this grass runs on out in here. About 20 feet short from the boat right here, and I'm just ticking the top of it with a spinnerbait. Perfect conditions for a spinnerbait. Now, I'm keeping this baiting vision keeping it in vision at all times and uh, like I was trying to say I like a trailer hook but the grass is way too loose for a trailer hook it would give me more trouble folks than what it's worth now when it comes to spinnerbait fishing I like braid but uh, with a buzz bait, I don't. It works pretty good with a braid and a spinner bait for me. But with a buzz bait, I lose too many fish, way too many. I have to almost always use mono with a buzz bait. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> we all have our opinions about fishing. All right, we're going to just go right down through here and see if we can catch another one. That's what I'm going to do. It's a shallow water pattern, fishing quick. Woo! Okay, woo! Woo! There we go. That's a good fish right there. That fish hit at the time. When it hit the... When he hit the water, he hit it. That's a good one right there. Now that's the kind. Golly. You know that fish ain't near, folks, as big as I thought he was. He's a good one, though. Look here. Now that's a good bass right there. Now that's a fat, fat bass. Look, when I, when I say textbook, look how girthy across the back and I've seen them they'll get a little bit fatter than that here in a couple of months but that's a pretty good belly for a fish I like the, that's a good one and that's what I'm looking for fishing with these spinner baits spinner baits you can cover a lot of water with them and um, I've done had several hit the bait close mouth and that's not a good sign what I need right now Believe it or not, is a little rain hit the top of the water. That would enhance the bite. But I'm going to just keep working down this shoreline and see if we can't pick up another one. Spinner bait fishing in the fall. It's a nice fish. Woo! Now my confidence is getting up a little bit. When it comes to a spinner bait, what I'll do is put your finger right here to support this to keep it to keep it from bending and then open it like that 
Okay, now you see how much room that bass has to grab that bait. A lot of times this part of the arm right here is way down here too far. And that blade a lot of times will interfere with that fish going ahead and grabbing that hook. But I'm not doing anything special with this bait right here, folks. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm tipping that grass. That blade's tipping the grass, that's enough. That's enough to create the strike. Now, if it wasn't that way, if I wasn't hitting grass and the water was a little bit deeper over the top of the grass, I would be doing working it real erratically like that. But there's no need for it when grass is this shallow. The, the blades is, that, them two blades is constantly hitting that grass and that's all the action you need to get that reflex bite and speed is real important too figuring out what speed you need to rail it oftentimes is really the key to catching bass on the spinner bait normally in clear water i don't let them get a, a real good look at it but if it's overcast like it is right now, you can definitely slow it down a little bit to get the strikes. There we go. There's a good spinner bait fish. I've changed my pattern now. I'm out here in open water now, folks. Fishing a grass bed out here on the point dang that fish mm. that's a good spinnerbait fish right there that fish eat it I mean they wouldn't no doubt about it I didn't even need no trailer hook right here on this one that's a good bass right there but I'm doing the same thing I'm ticking the top of the grass so I was talking about speed a while ago, controlling the speed of the spinnerbait. Well, that's how you do it. Whatever it takes to barely tick the top of that grass. That's a determining factor when it comes to how fast. If you have weeds in your lake, woo, he bent that spinnerbait up. I mean, he bent it up, wrecked it move my knot oh okay shoot let's do that again <laughs> woo. i'm talking about woo there we go that's a good one right here well they're all good Mmm, that fish knocked the fire out of that spinner bait. He jarred me. He hit it so hard. It's a good fish. Where are you going, boy? Old man's got you right here. You can forget about it. I saw a good bass right there. Oh, my, 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 my. He barely hooked, too. Oh, he's barely hooked. I should net him. I gotta net. Quit. I'm gonna give him a chance, folks. <laughs> Get all eh? Woo wee! Folks, we fixing to get wet. They ain't no doubt about it. But if I do, I do. Look at there. That's a good fish on the spinner bait. Now, if I was, I, I tell you what. If I'd have parked on this spot uh, a couple hours ago, I would have caught several of these, I believe. There's some good fish in here. But the thing about it is, this thunderstorm is coming. I just checked my phone. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay out here a little bit longer because I love fishing. I'm telling you, fishing is a sport second to none. Now, spinnerbait, it's just a tool for the trade. I use 
artificials just like tools just like when I did carpenter work every tool has its purpose and right now a spinner bait grows and it really does that fish hit it so hard like I said folks it jarred my arm I quit let's let her go there she goes okay Woo! hey man I want to thank the Lord from above for everything he's done for me. Well, folks, I'm going to let it go. The reason is, well, the weather's getting bad. I've got just enough time to get back to the boat ramp, I believe. But I've had a lot of fun. Uh, it just goes to show if you just have three or four hours to go fishing in the evening, do it. You never know what you're going to catch. I caught some good fish pretty quick. Eliminated a lot of bad, unproductive water real quick. This is definitely a power. This is called power fishing. Heavy line, heavy rod, and big old spinnerbait. It's just a great way to get rid of that unproductive water and find you some fish quick. And uh, I tell you, I enjoyed it. But what I enjoy more is y'all spending a few minutes out here with me um, enjoying a sport that's second to none, no doubt. I keep mentioning that because it is. It's relaxing. It's rewarding. You can learn a lot of different things out here, folks, and you can be at peace. And I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. I want to thank y'all very much for buying the Richard Jean Fishing Machine shirts. We have three new ones. Um, and I just appreciate everything y'all do. Just for watching, I appreciate it. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Hey, whoa. Oh, God, I just can't tell you. If you just knew how much adrenaline I carry in them, whoa. Go fishing when you can, but I'll call it good